Hello guys, on today's video, we are installing an EFE intake on the E36 M3. Perfect. 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 I purchased this intake in Pennsylvania. Remember all the trip that I mentioned I was doing in Pennsylvania? Yes, on one of them, I picked up this intake from another guy that was, you know, parting out his E36 M3. It is used and yeah, this is what a used product look like. Now, this is it right here used and I went ahead and cleaned up the filter. So although it looks like it is really beat up, it looks better in person. Now this intake filter was not like blue or red. It was actually gray. That's why it kind of looked like it's older, but yes, it is clean. But I plan to change it in the future after I install it on the car. Now, the heat shield, right here it's a bit rusty so i have a plan on to redoing it like you know using like a sandpaper to remove all this rust and then repaint it but for now i want to install it this way just to get rid of that old you know filter because i'm pretty sure that this factory one has an old charcoal filter there that is obsolete and old and really bad i just want to have this to kind of have maybe one extra horsepower from the car so let's go ahead and install it right away one thing i forgot to point out is that i am filming with my new gopro hero 8 so let me know how you like the sound quality and the video quality and all of that in the comment below and you know if i have to do better then i will definitely do it now to start a project what we have to do first is to remove this cruise control thing right here and it's held by two 10 millimeters. So you have one 10 millimeter right here, and then the second 10 millimeter is right there. But unfortunately, as you can see, let me shed some light here. As you can see here, I don't have that one. I'm missing that one. So I'm only going to remove that one right there. One, it is out. One, two, you can go ahead and remove this piece and put it on the side. Now you feel free to also, you know, unplug this right here just because it's holding it. You can just, Put it on the side like that and there you go now the next step is to pretty much remove these two clips one clip here and one clip there you pretty much use a flathead screwdriver let me get one use a flathead screwdriver right here as so and just move it on the side you can keep that again same thing on this end move that and make sure that you keep it normally it's supposed to stay but the clip as you can see here it's broken that's when that one came out after you remove those two clips now go ahead and separate from the math sensor the intake after that you should be able to pull the intake there you go as you can see here i just discovered a problem so after i remove the air filter the math just went all the way down so what i discovered is that this piece right here is completely broken that's kind of how it was i did not even know it was kind of like this but once i removed the filter it just dropped so i need to replace this boot as you can see look it just ripped again so it's definitely bad so i need to order asap a replacement piece that will go from here all the way to the math here now i'm going to go ahead and continue with the air filter installation since i started the video so you can see the process but off camera i will be once i receive the new part i will be changing this right here to kind of have like a maybe i will just go with the aftermarket pipe straight up instead of going with the same factory style so let's go ahead and continue with the installation of the intake so that you can see how it is done if you buy the unit brand new this is pretty much how when you assemble it it should look like so on this end you have the you know of course you have the filter that you already put here with this right here then these screws pretty much with the way you mount this is you put the washer and then this bolt goes from this side all the way through here and then you secure it with a nut then you put this other clamp right here this part right here is what is going to be connected to the mouth uh, in here now normally if my mouth was good it was supposed to be like this then i will connect the other piece right here and then secure it actually one thing i forgot to point out is that we need to remove this piece right here because it's not that anymore so i put this on the side right there and then we're just going to mount the intake right here all right so the intake is installed as you can see um, this is pretty much how we're going to install this area where we have that cruise control which is this right here we're going to screw them both together this way 
This one, remember, I did not have this bolt, but technically the second portion is supposed to screw here. Now, when you install it, make sure that this bolt, that it's hidden, can even point at this bolt right here where my finger is pointing right here. Make sure that you secure that bolt right there. And it's tight. that took me like five minutes just to do that one bolt. Now, if your math is intact, normally the way it's supposed to be is this section is supposed to be back here. And then this section is what you pretty much connect in here and then you tie everything together. But because my math is, uh, my math boot thing here is broken. Uh, literally, I have to wait and then get that other rubber, then install it. Once I do that, probably we're gonna remove this strut bar just to have enough access and install it. Well, this is how my setup is going to be for the moment. I won't be able to drive the car until I get that situated. But this is the final product, pretty much. I'm gonna put this one back here. It's pretty simple, you put that one a 10 millimeter bolt here and that should do the job now this is secure once this piece is attached it's not going to move anymore yep this is it this is it minus this portion right here but this is how you install the afe intake now i'm going to try to order that tonight so that uh, if i have it this week i will add the end of this portion right here but if not then normally we just plug these two together and that's how the job is done this is another day and as you can see I received the new part right there and I install it. You can see it fits pretty well down there and this is pretty much how the finished product will look like. You have the AFE intake right here, you have the math right there and then you have that silicone bolt right there. So on this note, uh, let's go ahead and uh, turn the engine on and see if you can hear any noise from here. I like the way it sound. As you heard when I rev it a little bit, you listen to that whoosh sound. That's exactly what I was looking for. So after I drive the car around, hopefully I can, you know, see the gain about uh, three to four horsepower. I'm not sure, but yeah, this is good. All right, now the installation is completed. You can see I still have a lot of work to do here. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please make sure that you like, subscribe and drop a comment on what you would like to see me do next on the car. I have a lot of things that I would do on this specific E36 because it has a lot of little issues. You saw the video when I purchased it, I detailed all the issues that this car has. And yeah, that's it. So thank you again for watching and see you on the next video. Stay safe guys.